um, title of this frog is Brooms and Handshakes. Did you say broom? Yeah. The normal broom. It first happened in primary school when I learned about vacuum cleaners, how they attract, how they are toxic lovers, how they kiss death at first sight and never let go. But it ended right there. In the pages of the textbook, these field absorbers were never able to stretch their heads beyond the leaves and engulf culture. I was taught to always use a broom to cobwebs. I was taught to always use a broom to cobwebs. That a ceiling or a cupboard with cobwebs is somewhere ill fate has fallen upon. So I willed, guiltlessly pulling down the fine art of armless arachnoids. On the day we flood our compound, my father laced the ground with patterns, engraving his heart's desires upon the soil as though it is a prayer ground. Engraving his heart's desires upon the soil as though it is a prayer ground. Some as crosses, some as curves, some as crooked lines like a portrait of a snake in convulsion. You see that a broom can make and break heart. You see that a broom can both make and break heart even break hearts too. A broom can even break hearts too.